Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie, and we are back at it again with another reaction to Matthew Hussey talking to a room full of women. Let's get into it. So even though us guys might grow up with the idea that we're supposed to do something, and if we don't get taught by our parents that, we get taught by movies at the very least, we grow up to think we should be doing something, and that makes most of us feel inadequate because most of us have never been taught how to do anything. So now what happens is we walk through life seeing women that we're attracted to and not being able to do anything. That's a guy's life. Some guys approach everybody. <laughs> Some. But what do you think that is as a percentage, really? What do you think? If this is all guys, this many are running up to every woman they like. This, in fact, this many are, this many are running up to every woman. <laughs> this many are running up to every woman they like. And the rest of us, this many will never approach a woman. And the rest of us, we wait for the right moment. And we're not very good at judging when is the right moment. <laughs> we also don't know what to do when we've decided it's the right moment. It's why you guys constantly experience guys coming up to you and doing creepy shit. <laughs> so we then ask, okay, with this group of men, should women start being more proactive in order to get them to do something? How many of you have ever been guilty of this? Okay, so before we get too far in this video, I want to thank today's sponsor, BioTrust. I just got back from the gym, so this is like, I thought this was the best time to film this because uh, right now, you know, one of the things that can greatly affect your mental health is your appearance. And many of the anti-aging supplements out there try to capitalize on it, but most of them fall short. And this is because they don't really address the root cause. They just try to do surface things that really just hide wrinkles, but they don't address it, if you get what I mean. But the effects are only temporary. To really address your skin and its overall appearance and wrinkles, you really have to work from within. If you go to healthwithking.com, uh, this link is gonna be below and the link's on the screen. This is what I've been using. I absolutely love it. It is a, un it, it's basically a collagen protein powder. And this one's unflavored, so it doesn't, doesn't it's tasteless, odorless. Um, they do have flavors. But what's great about this is that it addresses wrinkles um, by, you know, the number one protein in your skin is collagen your your skin needs is for elasticity and to give you that youthful appearance if you've been looking for something like this a way to look and feel your best go to healthwithking.com and right now they are giving 51% off okay with that order so I think you guys will love that oh and it's free shipping so make sure you guys click that link 51% uh, off and go get yourself a bag today a couple bags <laughs> all right back to the video you know what's funny? A lot of the women are laughing because I think we we women want to be seen as individuals, but a lot of times we paint a broad stroke on men that all men are a certain way because a small percentage are. And you see this with women say all men cheat, all men are dogs, this, that, and the other, when it's just the percentage that are the Chaz, Tyrones, whoever, you know, there's just a percentage of men who do that, just like there's a percentage of women, and it's nearly the same. But it's just, it's funny because... They're laughing about this, but the reality is they, we all, women, when they think of men, we, we type, we tend to think that all men are kind of going to come up to you douchey or they're going to, you know, if a man smiles at you or opens a door, you can see like this dynamic has, has been created where women feel like almost offended by things because they think everyone is the dude on the subway at 2 a.m. that's trying to holler at them. So it puts this kind of glass wall up. And so that it's not that you just, you treat men as individuals, you treat all men the same. But as women, we want to be treated individually. So I thought it was important to point out how like how funny this actually is. And I wonder in my own mindset, have I painted a broad stroke with men um, in general about some things? Not this, but I, I mean, I, I'm sure we all do it on both sides, but it was just interesting to see that. In some form or another, you said, if a guy hasn't got the balls to come and approach me, that's not the sort of guy I want anyway. How many of us said a version of that? 
You're crazy. Okay, I'm guilty of that. Not that particular statement, but you grow up with this princess mentality where you think if a man really wants you, he's going to fight for you. He's going to come get you. He's going to do all of this to come get you. When the reality is, like, I guess he's about to explain why this is not going to happen. And I wonder, you know, is it is it the princess thing? Is it entitlement? Is it just we aren't taught certain things? I, I guess it could be all of it. But I, in the past, I mean, this was a long time ago, but I, I would think that if a man really wants me, he's going to make the move. He's going to make the effort. You don't consider personality. You don't consider a man's style, man's experience. And we think, be, you know, how many women miss out on good men because a man you may be interested in or you find attractive, you don't give him a signal or let him know that you're interested because it's too much too much pride, honestly. You want the man to humble himself by coming up to you and you get the opportunity to reject him or not. You get to turn down the offers. But the tide has turned on that and a lot of men are realizing the juice is not worth the squeeze. Even if you talk to a woman, you know, there's, there's a plethora, a laundry list of things that are going to be wrong. And this is where a lot of men are just like, what is the point? But it's interesting. I have had that mindset that men need to do all the work in order to talk to me. And this is the other key. Think of it. The men who are bold, who, the, the men who are bold about it usually are Chad's, Tyrone's, guys like that. So think about it. They're, they may, because they have this confidence in themselves, whether it's delusional, delusional or not, or if it's just ego and pride, they are getting, a lot of times they'll get the majority of the women and the majority of women will have experiences with those particular men talking to them. Does that make sense? I know I'm rambling a bit, but it's like something in my brain was triggered just now when he said that, but let's keep continue because you girl can go. And I'll tell you why. I'm just going to give it to you straight. If us guys approached every woman we were attracted to, we wouldn't have jobs. <laughs> it's all we would be doing. So the idea that if a guy doesn't come up to me, I'm just not interested in him is ridiculous ridiculous. Guys out of 30 women that they might be attracted to, maybe will approach one. Maybe will approach one. Maybe we'll find the right moment with one of them. And here's what I mean by the right moment. A moment which he feels is easy enough to do something. Every other moment, the moment it presents too many hurdles, he doesn't do it. You're with a big group of friends, mm -mm, not going to do it. You're in a rush and you have that look on your face like I'm just getting my coffee and I got to get to work because I'm in a meeting and I got this stuff and I got this stuff and I got to go and I got to go. Text, text, text. Oh my God, so many things. Yeah, I'm coming, Jake. I'm coming. Mm -mm. He ain't coming up to you then. She looks busy. She'll fucking kill me. You're standing with that friend of yours. Oh, he's my gay guy friend. He's so lovely. I always hang out with him. We always go out. Never get approached by guys. Wonder why. Mm -mm. He's not coming up to you while you're standing there with your gay friend because all he thinks is this is your boyfriend. This is someone that you're dating right now. You know what's crazy? Kevin Samuels has talked about this and other men as well, content creators. I don't want to say Kevin Samuels, but, but it's funny him saying that the women are just laughing and kiki and it's just so nice. They're just so, they're just so enthralled by Matthew. So he can say things like this and it's funny, but the reality is, you know, us women, we have gotten to the place where we have so much pride and ego or the world has lied to us. So this is not that everyone has pride and ego, but the world has lied to us and we've adopted mentalities that they want us to. That we've adopted the princess mentality, the damsel in distress, the guy will fight for us and he will come up to us. He'll fight through our bad attitude, us not smiling, us laughing with our friends, us ignoring him and just think he'll fight through all of that to win us. And I think it is some type of shite test, you know, or strength test. It's, it's to see if he's strong enough to, 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 to fight through all this, even my bad attitude or my demeanor or me rushing or me not giving him any type of choosing signal. If he fights through all that, then he really likes me. He's really serious. But it's it's honestly 
very childish, childish. Like we as women don't have time to wait. And or, especially if you want to have, get married and have children, you don't have time to wait for that. Like, why aren't we taught to be more proactive as women to getting the type of man that we want? Why aren't we taught that? Why aren't we making those efforts to do that? Other than, you know, it seems like these days getting a degree in dressing sexualized are like the two default buttons that a lot of women go to. But I think there's an art to this, just like there's an art to so many other things. There's an art to getting the man that you want. And it, the basics should be being able to give him a signal, flirt, those types of things to let a man know that you have high interest in him. But again, I think a lot of women are afraid of the rejection and they don't want to be humiliated. I know for me, it would be that as well. So I'm not pointing to other women. I'm just saying how I, I would be afraid to be rejected or I would just feel, well, if he was really interested, I wouldn't have to come up to him. Cause then if I come up to him and we got into a relationship later down the road, literally, I know that y'all, any men watching, I know y'all gonna get mad, but this is like female logic. I would think, well, did he really want me? Because he didn't really try to talk to me. I bet he's tried to talk to other girls in the past, but what about me? Why didn't he come up to me? I mean, honestly, you know we can go down a rabbit trail like I am now, so let's get back to this. He sees you walking along the street in the daytime. Most guys won't approach you then. You know why? Because they're worried that they'll look creepy if they do. <laughs> really would love to talk to her. Maybe I'll look creepy if I try. Don't want to do anything. But women, what they often do is they say, oh, no, but that's not true. Guys do come up to me like that. Yeah, 1%. 1% of men. And it's always the loudest guy in the room. <laughs> it's the loudest guy in the room or the loudest guy on the street. And of course that guy is the one you always meet. Of course it is. I always meet players. Of course, they're the ones who approach you. Players are the ones that are good at that. They're the ones that do approach you. So if you're hanging back and waiting for guys to do it, of course you only meet players. Of course you only meet the loudest guy in the room. Of course you only meet that cocky guy who doesn't actually give you anything more. Of course. Because 10 minutes later, he's doing it with the next person. And tomorrow night, he's doing it with the next person. Not true in all cases, but certainly in many. With these guys, they're trying to find the right moment. So, my friends, it's not about you making the move per se. It's about you giving him a license to make the move. Because if you're the one in 30 that makes it easy, you're the one he's coming up to. You're the one he's going to try with. Don't be easy. But in the first five seconds, be easy. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that company was right there. But yeah, I found that really interesting because this is me, this is me 100%, um, and just hearing that, think about it, you're playing the way women have been taught how to play the odds is really not to play it. We just are supposed to just leave things up to chance. When men know it's a numbers game, they know they have to run through the odds. The, the certain number of women they talk to get to know like that's they have to keep going. But we as women, we really believe that it'll just show up for us magically one day and we don't have to do anything. I, I, I feel like I, I want to explore this deeper because this was just eye opening to me. And it's probably why most women have this perception of men because you're only talking to or being approached by a specific type of man, like he said, and I even said that earlier, but if we were to learn better, we could improve and do better with the type of men that approach us and the type of men that we attract. But anyway, that's it for this video, guys. 